All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions for next week's episode of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 2. This one's for Episode 3, which is called Ouroboros. Spoiler warning, if you guys haven't watched Episode 2 yet in this one, we're going to assume you've seen Episode 2, and we're talking about what we think is going to happen in Episode 3, which is called Ouroboros. So, um, got the couple of clips as usual from AMC. We've got the uh, the promo, and then we've got a sneak peek. The sneak peek for this one is quite useless, to be honest with you. And I was like, you know, you've got this thing with Strand. He's talking to somebody in Mexico. We don't know who. We don't know why or, or, or who he's looking for, what he's what he's looking for. I mean, it makes sense that, you know, each character, they, they have people that they care about, I would assume, in, in, in regular life. And then after the zombie apocalypse hits, they may still want to go find those people if they're far away or, you know, whatever. Uh, are we to assume that uh, Strand may have been involved in some kind of drug trade was he uh you know some kind of uh, i don't know high level um you know dealer or something i'm not sure you know smuggling or i don't know how can you how else can you afford uh, a 10 million dollar yacht there, there's lots of ways but um, it's, uh, it's it's definitely not easy to uh, to do so um don't know man i mean i i don't really care either <laughs> because they've been showing this to us for a while we know that strand is kind of one of these type of characters so it's like okay just to show us what, what it is you know it's not much of a sneak peek for me it's like we already kind of know that he's talking to somebody it's not like some big reveal or something in the in the sneak peek the promo is pretty cool though um and the description i'll read the description first actually it's a uh, madison confronts strand about his mysterious destination meanwhile nick alicia and others inspect wreckage from a plane crash so this is going to be the episode it sounds like where we had the um you know the the promos we've had all year in regular walking dead that were cut up quite a bit uh, <laughs> and we knew uh we had found out last summer at the end of last summer i did videos on this that uh, we were going to see uh you know a flight of the dead so to speak and then it was going to it was going to those characters were going to crossover into uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Season 2. So it looks like this episode, that's finally going to happen. You can see the Asian lady there. Uh, I don't know about the kid with the hair, you know, the um, the, the brown hair. Uh, not sure if he's there or not. You can see a few people in some kind of like, they seem to be kind of shipwrecked, so to speak, um, or just kind of floating there, so not not sure. But then you also have Chris in another scene that that's like looking at at the plane and, and going into the wreckage and stuff. So, and, and as it reads from the description, it says, Massacre for Strand about his mysterious destination. Meanwhile, Alicia, Nick, and others inspect the wreckage from a plane crash. So she's going to be a character that's likely going to join our group, and we'll see if anybody else uh, survives or what happens with the wreckage and, um, you know, if... Um, if anybody else joins too, if anyone else is, is still alive, we'll have to wait and see what, what happens with that. Um, you can see it in the promo a little bit. You've got, um, you know, seen there the plane crash group. You can see them. We hear someone's dying from Alicia, but we don't have any way to kind of uh, find out who. Uh, it could be someone from the uh, the plane crash. I don't think we're in the range for a character death right now from our main group. I would be pretty surprised if she was referring to somebody there. I, I kind of doubt it. And then we've got, um, you know, Nicholas being in trouble. He's got a bunch of, uh, you know, zombies zombies around him, walkers around him, and uh, he's fighting. And then we can see kind of our group fighting through, you know, a good number of them, which is kind of cool because we haven't really seen that too much yet. Of course, got to see that a lot in season six with uh, No Way Out of the original, or the regular Walking Dead. And then we've got Travis where he's, he's underwater. He's got some scuba gear. And then you've got Madison. She's kind of calling down to him. Uh, you can see water, and then there's, like, blood in the water. That type of deal. So, um that's pretty much all we got for or Ouroboros. Um, the name itself, what Ouroboros means, it says on Google, the Ouroboros is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. The name originates from within uh, Greek language, Oro, meaning tail, and Boros, meaning eating. Thus, uh, he who eats the tail, eating its own tail. So, I don't know, man. What can we say about the, the title? What can we draw from that? I have no idea right now someone's going to hurt themselves or you know, i don't know uh eating their own tail uh you know i don't know man that's 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 tricky so um with regards to fear right now i'm definitely not feeling it as much as i usually do with with the regular walking dead i'm kind of like you know eh, this is whatever this episode here uh, hopefully you know the series gets better i i want to say because it's not that i'm not enjoying it or i'm finding it you know boring or just not not really into it but I'm definitely not as into it as I am with a lot of my other favorites 
favorite shows, you know, even not just Walking Dead, but you could talk like Mr. Robot or Game of Thrones, which is airing next Sunday, or other shows too. I'm not feeling as invested in the characters. I'm not feeling as connected as I am with with a lot of other other shows. So that's kind of unfortunate because I thought the season one finale was was excellent. So we'll see what they have for us for the rest of the season for fear. After the first two episodes, definitely not blown away with it. I uh, think it's it's okay, but um, you know, it's something to watch, but it's not it's nothing to to write home about. That's for sure. Um, so in terms of video predictions for for the episode, seems like it'll probably be a, a pretty good episode. Going to be probably similar pacing to episode two. Probably out of the 40 minutes, the first 30 will be kind of talking a lot. Maybe a few little scenes with zombies there. And then the end of the episode will be, um, you know, some, some kind of uh, big thing happening. Uh, maybe we'll find out sooner or later what, what Strand's up to. I really don't care what he's up to at this point. I hope he's up to something, and I hope it's interesting. Because uh, otherwise it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so write your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. I apologize if I'm a downer, if anyone's like, oh, man, Fear is so awesome, and I'm enjoying it so much. And, Trev, how can you not just be, like, on the edge of your seat loving the show? And I don't know, man. It's just, you know, it's what it is. It, it's it's okay, but, you know, it's, it's what it is. So um, write your comments below on what you guys think is going to happen in, in next week's uh, episode. I'm looking forward to it. But um, it's going to be conflicting with, uh, with Game of Thrones, which has its premiere next weekend. So uh, I'll get the review posted for you guys for episode three. But it may be, uh, you know, late at night that night because of course it's going to be two shows on to watch and everything so write your comments below let me know what you guys think and uh, what you think will happen in, in episode three and how you're feeling about uh, fear right now if you like this uh, kind of preview video i call it predictions it's like a preview video sometimes too you can go ahead and thumb it up below check out the clips like i said and uh, you can share a favorite and if you're new and you want to subscribe you can subscribe at the bottom left uh, i will still do a q a this week for fear at least one so you guys can still send me questions for that and i'll include them in everything and we can mix in regular walking dead too if there isn't as much or enough to talk about with fear so uh, send me whatever you guys got for a QA and a for this week and a heads up for that probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, if you missed it, I did my top 10, uh, top 10 greatest episodes of The Walking Dead, the original series, earlier today. I counted them down and uh, you know, it's a pretty good video, so check it out. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys again real soon tomorrow for Q&A. As always, it's Trav from Sam Peace. See you guys.